Greetings, financial explorers, QuickBook enthusiasts, and new learners. Welcome again to our channel where we unravel the mysteries of numbers with a sprinkle of creativity. In today's tutorial, we're going to go in a currency adventure in QuickBooks Online. So get ready to change your financial landscape. And before we jump into the action, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest adventures and keep you on the loop for future content. And to our returning viewers, welcome, welcome back, and we appreciate your ongoing support and could not wait to embark on this journey with all of you once again. Now, let's get into it. All right, before we dive into the dashboard itself, I just wanted to make a short uh, pit stop uh, why changing the currency in QuickBooks Online can be necessary for various reasons. It really depends on your business needs and circumstances. Let's say, for example, you are expanding internationally, right? Just give, just give it a thought. If your business expands its operation internationally or starts serving customers in different countries, you may need to change the currency to match the currencies you deal with regularly right and changing that the setting allows you to record transactions in multiple currencies and again it's crucial if you have vendors or customers who use different currencies making it easier to manage foreign currency transactions accurately and maintaining that because it's essential that your accounting software reflects the currency in which your business primarily, primarily operates. You, using the correct currency ensures that the financial reports and statements are accurate and compliant with accounting standards. Now, changing the currency setting can help you generate financial reports in the currency you prefer, right? How good is that? So this can be useful for internal analysis, investor reporting, or presentations to stakeholders. In some cases, though, businesses may need to change their currency setting to uh, comply with uh, tax regulation because as, all we all, as we all know, different tax authorities may require financial statement transaction to be reported in um, specific currencies, right? Okay, so if your business involves um, customers in a specific currency, changing the currency setting allows you to generate invoices and accept payments in different uh modes so what i mean by that is you hover down to your invoice right all right uh, before we go into it i just wanted to make sure that you log into your quickbooks online and if you don't have an account yet it's easy simple and fast just create one it wouldn't take you too long and then once you are successful, simply log in using your credentials. It should look like this. You again, you go to a uh, new and then click invoice. And then once inside, set your insights to the mystical gear icon. This is where the transformation, the magical uh, transformation happens, right? From the so once you crawl down. If you have an existing account, like like let's say like a live account, you can actually see a currency section here, just below the uh, the customer's information. You can see it here as you scroll down. Now uh, this is where the currency magic happens. You click edit. You click edit. On the currency section to awaken the currency powers as a window emerges now uh, once you have chosen your currency here you can actually uh, this options will will be automatically populated to the currency that you're going to transfer let's say you are in the Philippine peso it will be uh, converted to let's say the US dollars to a British pound you know uh, to the different currency that you are transacting right so revisit the, the currency section and confirm the currency transformation before you uh, save and send, right? And that's it 
Thank you for joining us in this uh, creative currency conquest. If you find this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more our QuickBooks tutorial. And see you on the next video. Thank you guys once again for everything. And we would like to make a shout out for all those who leave the comments on our YouTube videos. We, you, you are helping to grow our community and your continued support is always appreciated. Until next time, see you on the next video. Peace.